Malcolm Blight, uh, coach of the Warriors, quite concerned about the youth of his side with Lindsay Heaven and himself out. Now Beecroft, just how well can these Warrior fledglings perform against a more experienced leg side? As Gallagher, wide Dickinson, the running ace, half forward flank. Michael Ace has got the chance, pops it up. Here's the first score to the Red Legs. Straight through the centre, Michael Ace is first, Norwood's first. They try a Woodville 2-2 two -two at the eight-minute mark of the first term. Good football there by Gallagher, always alert. Dickinson again, Ace had dropped into the space and effortlessly got himself balanced and popped it through for his and Norwood's first goal. And the helmeted man. Looking a little bit like a Viking now as he goes short. Gallagher. Wide again to co-wingman Dickinson. The pass perfect, the mark good. Ace in the centre again. Oh, he's run 30 yards to make position here. Park will run him down though, Gallagher. We're seeking Ace, he'll find him again. Oh, beautifully weaved out. Goes out to Captain Jenkins. He's got players running for him in the half forward line. Brilliantly done. And Keith Thomas will go long before the pack gets there. Duncan Fosdyke gets under the fall of the ball and takes a good falling mark. Gee, that was a good catch. Norwood putting their game together through their running players. Finally ending up in the hands of this young man, Duncan Fosdyke. A welcome return from injury. From about 30 metres out, the left foot. Follows it through straight for Norwood. Second goal. The men in white, Laurie Argent, Jim Field, the combatants, Walker and Hine. There he is, hands and knees, getting it out, looking for McIntosh, couldn't quite find him. Gallagher chips in, puts the underground hand pass. Maynard in trouble, but trying to get it over to McIntosh. Look at the hard work he puts in. Oh, a delicate right footer, beautifully placed to Michael Aish. He'll have to come round the corner. Has Dickinson running into the hole. Did it brilliantly. Ran a good 30 metres to take that ball then. And what beautiful touch from Michael Aish. This young man from centre wing. His task, tick, kick straight, 20 metres in front. Has done it. Good kicking from the Norwood side. Three straight kicks for three. Parker and Hine. Been a good battle. That's the third touch to Hine. Getting the ball out of the square. The quick tap forward. A chance now for Heaney. Almost smothered as it goes towards half forward. Scanlon. Thomas. Teal. Wide. He's the man that kicked the goal just moments ago. He's from the half-back flank with a wobbly old punt kick down towards Maynard. Beautiful mark. A great mark by the youngster. 18 years of age. Slips the hand pass to Gallagher, creating play. And he goes looking for Roberts. It's deep in the pocket. Roberts circling. Little to kick to. Now he goes, oh, beautifully done, Danny Jenkins. Again, Norwood using that space as they dropped into the hole created behind centre-half forward. Now loose checking by Woodville as Thomas marks. And uh, Keith Thomas on a 45 degree angle with only a 20 metre kick required to convert once more for Norwood. Good, good creating uh, football by Norwood. Not only where the ball was moving, but then running to the space. And Keith Thomas puts it through his first goal. And that's uh, the fourth for Norwood. Four goals they lead Woodville 2-3 at the 15 minute mark. The crowd really appreciating Maynard to Gallagher. Look at the delicate footwork and watch the radar of Rob. Picks him out quickly. There's his captain waiting in the centre, Jenkins. Straight onto his chest. Beautiful touch with the ball. Graham Harris taking the kick in. Direct downfield. Maynard sets. Great mark. Bob Lynch this time. Goes to the corner of the square. His target was Parker. Or a bit of hanging on going on there. Oh, brilliant. A juggling mark like Barm. This time Bruce Winter elects to come to the grandstand side. He's looking for the giant Jim Teal. Although out uh, bodied, Hearn got his hand to the ball, but Dickinson with skill gets the ball and drives it long. Chance for hand pass, Fosdyke, Thomas. Thomas short on Michael Ashall by himself. He's run a good 50 metres to receive that ball. He'll go short, big hind in the goal square. And this goal should only be a formality. No, oh, we haven't seen Michael Ash uh, running as well in the past few games as we have today. And he's going to be the damager. 
if the Warriors can't hold him. As Hine goes with a long kick, beautiful straight through the centre. Norwood 5-2, Woodville 3-4. It is Scanlon from halfback. Goes to the outer side, oh, loose out there is Danny Jenkins. Quick to play on, Aish is there. Oh, fine mark there in opposition to Peter Swars. So Aish, at half forward left, drives across to the lead of Maynard, beautifully directed. Maynard marks with ease. No effort at all coming from Blacksell. And Maynard going back, could well be within distance. He's an awkward kicker of the ball. Now he goes short, loose once more, and Fosdyke takes the mark within scoring distance. Undisciplined defence from Woodville. And Duncan Fosdyke, a welcome return to the league ranks, has an opportunity 45 metres out, certainly not beyond him. Beautiful kicker of the ball, and that's no exception. Fosdyke puts his second goal on the board, and Norwood, six goals, two lead, Woodville 3-4 at the 24 minute. Maxi Parker versus uh, Balm, Parker's tap, Harris couldn't control it, Balm goes back in there well, McIntosh almost robbed him of it, Haylock gets bundled out, Gallagher couldn't control it, Sewer, but going clear Fosdyke to Gallagher, Norwood through half forward left, a bit of pushing and shoving, Roberts comes up versus Jacua. Roberts recovers the better, but there's a oh, play on the call, and Roberts finally uh, pops it through for a goal. That's his uh, first goal, and Norwood moved to a 25-point lead, 25 minutes into the first term. Spam, the red leg Ruckman, now Parker, with a mighty roundhouse right, slams it forward, Tom Warhurst. It's a welcome return from injury. Danny Jenkins, the captain of the legs. He'd be looking towards Neville Roberts. Against him, Brett Macarath. Experience versus youthful exuberance. The left footer down ball, the grabbing claws of Hine. Very tall man, as you can see, centre screen. Look at him thinking about getting that ball away. Still thinking about it. But uh, he's decided to go back now. No leads forthcoming. The old language, about six foot two or plenty. Now he comes around, opens the gap for himself, pops it through, goal number two. Welcome to the Hind group, 8-2, Woodville 3-4. Beautiful play by Jenkins, who's picked up a mint of kicks. He was looking for Roberts, but notice the experience here. He got inside Brett Macarath, gave himself four or five metres, and what a beautifully executed chip in towards the goal square, and a fine catch by the big fellow, showing tremendous agility, and Norwood now lead by 28 points at the 27-minute mark of the first term. Gets it over quickly to Heaney. The support uh, runner looked to be Gary Haylock, or Peter Swars it was. Now the chance for the Warriors as they work it in towards Fuller. Fuller goes long, the big fella can't quite control it, and David Guest, he comes back charging, he can't bend over. Gets a fit of the fumbles as the siren goes to end an entertaining, whoops, and the fight start. The bell's gone, fellas, back to the corners as the siren's gone to end the first term. With the end of first uh, term scores being eight goals, 351 red legs, Warriors three goals, 523. Swars, Swars back to uh, Randall Wright, who hooks the ball high. Half forward right as Big Hine goes up, and my word, he's marked well today, the big fellow. Big Norwood have been waiting for this fellow to put it together. Hand pass to Jarvis, his kick to the centre wing area. Maynard and Blacksall, Asian beautifully picked up, over to McIntosh, looking for the centre-half forward spot, and Keith Thomas has gone there, takes it, bolts, slips it to Roberts, he's got loose in the goal square, big bum, but kicks the, oh no, he's hit the woodwork, from one end of the ground to the other, and a disappointing end of that passage of play for Norwood to lead by 28 points. In Jacquier goes long inside the square, Gallagher, the effective spoil, down to Aish. Usually uses the ball well. This time it's a tumble punt with his left foot. And Steve Jacquier. Pressured to the line by the two half-forward flankers, though. Picked up well, and another two half-forwards come in. Really, uh, Norwood's forward line attacking well. Becoming backman and keeping the ball in the area for this man Gallagher to kick it over to Roberts. An awkward-looking movement then by Brett Macarath. Duncan Fosdyke back to Roberts. Now what can he do? This time he has a change of mind. He picks up Balm in the goal square. And a formal goal straight forward. And Balm collects his first. Norwood pick up their ninth. Norwood a lot of run today. 
deep pocket. Robert sets and marks. Beautiful mark from behind. Had his name written all over that. Oh, that's a brilliant mark by Roberts. The experience versus the youthful exuberance. And to Woodville through Doug Coop, hooking the ball high. Half forward right. Shear sets from behind. Almost pulled it in, but Jarvis comes clear for Norwood. Off the side of the boot to the half forward left. H over the top. Brilliant mark. Quickly moves it to Ross. Parker tapped out the back Maynard, trying to get through Swars. Long hand pass came out, but Gallagher stole it, put it out looking for Roberts. Well controlled. Roberts time to turn, chips into the goal square. Ace has dropped there and takes the mark. Michael Ace left unattended in the goal square, something you should never do. He has an opportunity now for his second goal and will relieve the pressure a little for Norwood. Woodville have come from 34 points down to trail now by 13 points. Ace is second. Maxi Parker, been there all the time, but this time Balm away. In fact, knocked it away from Keith Thomas. Maynard's clean bowled, taking the ball nicely. There is young Stanton, and the ball uh, is paid for holding against McDonald taken in by Keith Thomas to the lead of Roberts in the forward pocket. He's backed up by Dickinson. Roberts allowed to get balanced, direct towards the square. Big Hines back there and takes another mark. Well, the big fellas come of age today with his marking ability around the ground. Shows tremendous until he's passed it off to Maynard. And Rodney Maynard, who's probably not the most reliable kick, certainly looks nothing off the boot. Has been quietly effective, just the same. He has an opportunity now for his first goal of the game. Yeah, he stabs it straight through the middle, and the Norwood gets back to a 19 point lead at the 23 minute mark. Dickinson goes in there, the tackler is McDonald. McIntosh, the quick kick loose, in goes Fosdyke to Keith Thomas, hands and knees wide, looking for Ace. He gets over the top of Jacua. Barging through goes Dougal. Fisher in to help out. Fisher breaks clear. Hand passes to Roberts. And Roberts goes short to find Baum within scoring distance of goal. Well, you couldn't say that was cohesive football. They struggled really to get that ball up there. And Baum has an opportunity for his second goal. Norwood leading by seven points at half time. The kick from Baum is through for his second goal. Max Parker, who's been in ruck all day for Woodville, high in the tap away, beautifully to McIntosh. Depth and direction in the kick. Robert sets, it's well hit away. Dougal playing it through half forward. Rolled up nicely, gave it to Keith Thomas, and he pops it through for a magnificent goal. And Woodville, Norwood, quickly with two goals in as many minutes, now lead by 19 points. Well, Mark Dougal, the man from Murray Bridge, watched the charge with the body in line with the ball, had them coming at him from all directions, then got it over towards Thomas, and Thomas with a nice kick. That travelled a good 55 metres straight through the centre. He's picked up two, and uh, Norwood, 13 goals. Max Parker coming in again. Again high in the tap away, however. Well, follows it up well, the big fellow. Allows Ace through. He's tackled by Coop. Randall right in the van, but Keith Thomas does it magnificently. Good control. Uh, the smother by Swartz, but Keith Thomas following up the play magnificently. Pops it through for his second goal. And Norman with three goals in as many minutes, now lead by 25 points. Well, a terrific amount of work done. Michael Ace was first. But watch the work done by Thomas. There's his first attack on the ball. Struggled it through the line. The hand pass was smothered, but then breaks. Out he goes. The ball cleanly off the boot, straight through the second, and he's got himself three goals out of 14. And look at congratulations, Neville. Roberts reckons that's all right, and so does Keith. Four goals in five minutes. Pretty scintillating stuff at the moment as Parker comes away. Aish almost loses his dax but gets his kick out. The ball's still inside the square. Picked up by Fisher and the left footer. Roberts looks, realised that uh, he's under the fall of the ball and uh, took a very well-timed mark. Oh, 
Brett Mackerith, hands on hips, standing the mark, really wondering what the devil he should do. Here comes Fisher's kick. Now watch Neville Roberts. He wonders where he is. Brett Mackerith is up and down, and Neville Roberts is up at the right time. And this, for the state forward pocket, is almost a standard gimme goal. 20 metres out, the drop punt, that with the chip shot typical of the Neville Roberts kick. He's bagged himself too, and Norwood have 15-8, Woodville 11-7, six and a half minutes gone third term. Parker and Hine at the centre circle. Hine who's got every tap this quarter, Keith Thomas, McIntosh, Ace on the run, and this is brilliant football out of the centre. Ace settles, drives towards goal, bombs there and takes the mark. Boy, he thought about playing on. He got a good shove away of uh, Graham Harris. He's on quite an acute angle for a right footer and has kicked two goals so far. Bam. Has put it through for his third and will it extend their lead once more now to 31 points. And uh, now it will be Rowan Hellyer. Hell you go short. McIntosh has almost got a little tent pitch there. There's been nobody checking him. Teal taps it over to Hine. It's smothered. Teal comes back for more. Gallagher receives the hand pass. Here is Ace. Well blocked by Roberts. Roberts uh, shepherding, in, as a matter of fact, against Brett Mackerith. And uh, Mackerith will take the kick. Changes the mind. Goes to hand pass. Steve Jacquier goes long. Well, the odds are far too great. Big Hyde is there. He's marked brilliantly all day. The big fella has taken control of the air and the packs. And this third term has won six tap outs that's resulted from four clear goals to the red leg so far. Roberts, forward pocket. So that defensive line across centre, been most effective. Gallier, Gallagher, Hine, Helia and Scallon. Scanlon for Roberts. There's that typical... Roberts chip, and he plonks it straight through. He has goal three. Brett Mackerith. Long. Oh, no, the top was Dickinson. McIntosh. Oh, ducking the head and uh, going backwards. It's almost like suicide, was Mark Dougal. And he's on the half-forward line. He'll be looking towards Roberts, the lead. That's the way it goes. Brett Mackerith's had his hands full with this man, and the mark is taken in front of the eyes. Just no way can you punch that away. Nev Roberts, who's kicked three. One in the first, two in the third. Norwood uh, have really piled the goals on in this term. Is this goal number four for Neville Roberts? That's a formality too, straight through the centre. And so Norwood go further ahead. So Lynch, between half forward and centre wing. Ooh, duck the head was palm. Again, Teal. Oh, bar back again strongly, straight through the pack, trying to get the ball out towards Gallagher. It's successful. That's set away. Always an economical use of the ball. He goes the quick kick forward, and the mark is well taken by Fisher. Climb down to Ace, Lester Ross slipping at the crucial moment, but gets it to Michael Ace, to Gallagher. Gallagher short and Roberts play on the call it's not sufficiently long and Roberts turns and hooks towards goal and goal number five goes on the board to Neville Roberts. Bounce down with Balm going up and again Thomas but working through Haylock nicely over to Randall Wright but he's run down by Ross dribbling one forward Hellyer's there for Norwood slips it to Jarvis Fosdyke constructively Norwood, through the half forward left area, Ace from behind, oh brilliant mark, Ace against Jacquier, slips it short, Gallagher's dropped into the space, takes the mark, turns, steadies and pops it through for another Norwood goal, that's their 20th, 2012 they leave Woodville 12, 8 by 52 points. Spots Harris, inside the square, he bolts and goes long, Maxie Park is the man he's after, can't quite all magnificent mark taken by Tom Warhurst, a one-hander held and then goes wide, immediately plays on to Balm. What a magnificent mark that was as Balm takes two bounces, goes long towards the half-forward flank, Michael Ace in front spot and another good mark. Gee, two marks taken, brilliantly. The bounce of the final term at Woodville, where Norwood showing a brilliance. 
kick themselves nine goals in the third term as Thomas goes long with a drop punt down towards full forward, Brett Mackerith and Neville Roberts. Neville Roberts the first to recover, chips one in short, almost balm, then flick forward. Chance for Coop, oh, intercepted, beautifully done. Lester Ross to Michael Ace, and Ace pops through the first score for the term. A brilliant left footer, 21 goals, 12 the legs, 16-9 the Warriors. He's over on pure pace by Doug Coop. He gets the ball back. Chance again for Maxi Walker. Over the top came Chris Shear, and a tangle of very tired plays at the moment. In goes Jim Teal, D, uh, Hine, Scanlon. Oh, that's clumsy, and he must receive a free for push in the back. Scanlon quickly at crossfield, Bruce Winter in pursuit, Randall Wright, Winter short again, Michael Ace, defensive side of halfback, uses Bruce Winter through the halfback line, kicking under pressure, but finds McIntosh at centre wing, long hand pass to the running McDougall, further afield, Gallagher fumbling, wider still it goes to Fisher, Fisher goes for the goals, long but has hooked the ball, Baum can't reach it, and a throw in will occur right beside the left behind post. Best passage of football Norwood have, have put together in this quarter. A throw in, pocket, balm front spot, swooping and kicking Fosdyke for a point. Norwood lead by 18 points. Well, what a game. I thought Norwood were going to slaughter the Warriors today. Uh, the indications in the third term. Now the Warriors have just come back. Absolutely everything now committed to the ball. Both sides as Ross goes wide. Gallagher, all the charges on by Mark Stanton. Did it well. Back comes Ross though. He's well shepherded. Gets it over to Gallagher. Gallagher will go short. Roberts. Roberts in the forward pocket. Will coach Neil Barn. He's got a migraine scratches the air all oh, both coaches must be right on the edges of their seats at the moment 139 points apiece so now it's up to Neville Roberts can he change the score at the moment the kick looks good it's one point so it's one point the difference at the 23 minute mark of the final turn the Woodville bench with my with uh, Malcolm Blight shouting order the Packers have come from a 33-point deficit in this final term as Baum tries to work it out. Keith Thomas, caught, now clear, off the knee, Hellyer, hand pass, Wild, Shear throws the ball forward, working hard there, Ace going to ground, still in it. Ace with over the body, body over the ball as Fisher breaks clear, off the half-back line, full of run. Clearing the centre area, into the centre half forward spot. Ross hits it away from Jacquier, but Stanton's there for Woodville. Back to Jacquier. High over the top. Roberts gives it back to Jacquier. It's centre wing. Player foul behind play as the hand pass now is with Lynch. Centre wing. Lynch ducking, diving. Randall Wright. Kick goes deep to the left forward pocket. Bruce Winter up with a magnificent saving mark. Oh, what price experience, Bruce Winter. 200 games plus, saw that ball, put his name on it, good mark on the last line of defence for the Redlegs. Now it's decided to settle the game down. The drop punt, wide. All players flying, no one taking though. The hurried kick forward, smothered by Aish. He has his legs taken out from under him. Now the Warriors pounce, and we'll see about. We'll be looking towards full forward. What a battle war that's going to be. Maxi Parker, Winter, off hands, four, can he do it? It's brilliantly smothered by Warhurst. Thomas running support. He gets his quick kick forward. Michael Aish under the fall of the ball. Good mark. Time ticking away. 25 minutes gone. Short the hand pass. Long the kick. Teal. He's been changed from half back to half forward. Harris is there. Desperation stuff. Lester Ross waits for a ball. It doesn't come out. But the Warriors do. The chip shot forward. Again, Parker's the target. Oh, at the back. The chance. His opportunity for Shear. He can't get his hands onto it. McDonald can. He's taken out. And holding the ball is Rule. Free kick to Andrew Jarvis in the goal square. He's got nothing to kick to. Players are motionless as he goes wide. Aces get found run. 
Hit away, going in McIntosh. Oh, he got that right in the fingers, or the stomach even. And it was Michael Ace coming clear to find Keith Thomas on the half-back line. Norwood looking to control the game, but there's plenty of time left. 26 minutes played in the final term. Keith Thomas up that outer side. Fires it high and long. Hine in from behind. Oh, there's a good grab. And the big hind is marked well today. Looks to get depth in the kick. He fires it high, not over much distance. Robert Serich pulls out the back. Gallagher's in the den. Jack Mills with him. Gallagher over to Roberts. Oh, magnificent football. And Roberts pops it through for his sixth goal. Norwood lead by seven points at the 26 and a half minute mark. A brilliant piece of running. Hine is marked brilliantly all day. But look at the pairing of these two veterans. The Woodville defence, the odds, two to one. Gallagher sees him, flicks the ball over to Neville Roberts, and with his left foot, takes the time, pops it onto the boot, goal number six, and a very timely goal to the Redlegs.